Hi guys and welcome back to Makeup Love Life 85. Um, if you are new to my channel then hello how are you doing? Hit that subscribe button down below and join the party. Um, in today's look I'm coming at you with another Thanksgiving glam look but this one is way more dramatic. It has a cut crease, um, copper glitter, muted pinks and burgundies and he's just all around glam. So if you want to know how to achieve this look then please continue to watch. Okay guys, so I already have my primer on and my brows done. You can check the description box below to see what I use. Now using Wet n Wild's I Heart Matte Palette, I'm just going to take this peachy shade and I'm going to use that as my transition color. So I'm going to put it in my crease and then blend it up towards my brow using this large blending brush. Now taking Knock on Wood by Wet n Wild, and I'm not sure if this is a limited edition palette, but I'm going to take that muted pink color on the top and I'm gonna place that right over that transition shade. Next, taking the burgundy shade in the palette, I'm gonna switch up the brushes and use a pointed blending brush, and I am going to place this in my crease and deepen it and start to blend it upwards. Now going back into that pink shade again, with the large blending brush, I'm just going to blend out any harsh edges. And then I'm going to dip back into the peach color from the I Heart Matte Palette, and I'm gonna go over that. Next, I'm gonna take a dark brown eye pencil. This one is by NYX, and I'm gonna start to create my cut crease shape. So I'm slightly gonna tug my eye a little bit, and then I'm gonna start to create the line of where I want my cut crease to be. I usually do this higher than my actual crease. Um, so yeah, I'm just bringing the line in, and I'm only going in halfway, and then I'm taking an angled brush, and I'm just going to slightly blend out that line. Next, to clean up the underside of that cut crease, I'm just going to use Max Paint Jelly Paint Pot, and this is the same exact primer that I use to prime my eye to begin with. So I'm just um, putting it on again, basically covering up any shadow that had gotten on my lid. And I'm using this brush just to make sure it's nice and you know clean. Now taking the burgundy shade again from the Knock On Wood palette, I'm just going to use that angle brush and I'm just going to define the line even more so I'm putting the color right on top and blending it upwards. And then I'm going to switch brushes and add a little bit more of that burgundy color right on top of that line just to define it even more. Now it's the glitter part. I'm taking NYX's Glitter Primer and Violet Voss's Copperella Glitter. I'm gonna put this all over my lid. So first I'm going to put a thin layer of the glitter primer all over my lid. And then I'm going to pack the glitter right on top. Now taking a Nude Scandal Eyes Pencil by Rimmel, I'm just going to line my waterline. And now I'm going to take that burgundy shade on a small shading brush and I'm just going to apply that to my lower lash line going all the way in and also underneath that glitter. Now I'm going to go into the muted pink shade and with a blending brush, I'm just going to apply that on the bottom portion of that burgundy just to blend it out. Now I'm going to deepen it even more with some more of that burgundy color really close towards the lashes. And now I'm just blending everything with a big blending brush. I'm now taking Milani's Bella Chiffon Eyeshadow. I'm going to use this to highlight my inner corners and also apply it to my brow bone. Now 
using Alex Black Cream Eyeliner, I'm going to use this to create my bold liner. And now I'm just going to pop on my lashes. I just stacked Demi Wispies and number 614 from Salon Perfect together. And I threw them on with some black duo glue. And when the glue is completely dry, I put on Maybelline the Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. So I'm just going to coat my real lashes into my fake lashes, you know, blend everything together. And also coat my lower lashes as well. Now I'm just going to move into the face so I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and wipe away any glitter that might have fallen on my cheek or you know anywhere and then I'm going to start to prime my face. I'm going to use Vermal Stay Matte Primer and I'm just using this on my nose and the central part of my forehead because that's where I get oily the most and I'm just going to blend that all in and then after that I'm going to use Maybelline's Blur and Redness Control Primer and I'm going to put that everywhere that I didn't put that Stay Matte Primer. Now I'm going to use Benefit's High Beam Highlighter and I'm just going to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones just to give me a little more pop for when I put my um, highlighter on later. So it'll be like a little bit of a glow underneath my foundation shining through. Even though the foundation that I'm using is Pro Glow anyway, you know, it's just extra, you know, we just extra. So I'm taking L'Oreal Infallible's Pro Glow Foundation in number 204. I used to have 205. I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but I ha this one is 204 and I feel like it matches me a little bit better than the 205 one. So yeah, I think I'm going to stick to this one. So I'm just going to apply that all over with my sponge and then I'm going to blend it out. Now I'm taking LA Girl Pro Concealer in Classic Ivory and I'm just going to highlight my face, you know, the undersides of my eyes and my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, um, my chin, and my forehead. And then I'm going to flip that sponge to the other side and I'm, good, just gonna, I'm just going to blend that all out. I am talking extremely fast. Okay, to set all that concealer, I'm going to use Ben Nye's Cameo Powder. Um, I've said this in other videos, but this powder has a pink undertone and it goes perfectly with the tone of my skin. So that's why I use this one instead of banana. So I'm just going to set all of that concealer, concealer and then I'm going to use Romo Stay Matte Translucent Powder to set the rest of my face. To contour my face, I'm going to use NYX's Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I'm taking this color right here just to contour everywhere that I usually contour, starting with my forehead. Okay, now that all the contouring is done, I'm just going to wipe away all that powder that was, you know, baking, everything. So I'm just going to wipe that all away. And if you guys are curious to how I contour my nose, um, I do have a nose contouring video up. Um, now I'm just going to jump into blush. I'm using NYX's Nutmeg Blush and just applying that on top of that contour. And now I'm going to set my face using NYX's Dewy Finish Setting Spray, but I'm only doing one side of my face. And then I'm going to let it slightly dry and then take my highlighter. I did create this myself and I'm just going to place that right on top of that setting spray just to give it even more of a pop. And I'm going to do the same exact thing to the opposite side of my face. And now I'm just going to highlight all the places that I usually highlight in the central portion of my face. And then once that is all done, I'm going to set my face once again with that NYX's Dewy Finish Setting Spray.
Okay, moving on to lips, I'm gonna take Y2K Lip Liner from NYX and I'm just going to line and fill my lips. For my lip shade, I chose Tea and Cookies Liquid Suede Lipstick by NYX and I'm just going to apply that right on top and blend it together with that lip liner. And that is it. The look is complete. I hope you guys enjoy this dramatic Thanksgiving glam makeup look. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving and thank you for watching guys. Bye!